<sighs> the third generation of Pokemon, undoubtedly some of the best games in the franchise. Pokemon Emerald is personally one of my favorites. I mean, the Pokemon are great, it has an amazing plot, and the sprites are really nice too. But they could be nicer. Even though the odds of finding a shiny Pokemon in this game are 1 in 8192, I want to try and beat the game with only the absolute best forms of the Pokemon available. And not only this, but I'm gonna try and complete these four challenges along the way. And if I don't, I have to release every single shiny Pokemon I found in this run. Now, that would just hurt. Now, let's go and find out if I can beat Pokemon Emerald using only shiny Pokemon. I woke up bright and early ready for my very first shiny Pokemon hunt. I met my friend May, but she was too busy playing on her computer to come hunt with me, so I guess I'll be heading on this adventure alone. I made it to the professor who was being chased in circles by a Zigzagoon. Dude, your house is a 10 second walk away, just go back home. Ugh, he isn't known to be the smartest of people to say the very least. Well, I knew it was my duty to save him, and I knew that a regular Torchic could technically do the job, but where's the fun in that? I mean, we all know shiny Pokemon do at least three times more damage than normal Pokemon, so let's get this hunt going. Now, shiny hunting in Pokemon Emerald is a bit different to other Pokemon games, but mainly this impacts shiny hunting for a starter. Basically, the shiny value of the starters in this game are preset, meaning it's possible that even if I hunt for 800 hours, I might never find a shiny. Now, I can get around this by resetting my game file every so often, which isn't difficult, but it is very annoying. If you appreciate the effort I put into these videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe right now. It really helps. Now, this hunt didn't go over odds, but it still took me way too long. This is what happened after around 6,300 encounters. Yo, we got it! Yes! Oh! We got it! We got the shiny Torchic! That was so long. We did it! Yeah! Dude, shiny Torchic. That Pokemon is actually so underrated. That sprite is beautiful! Oh my god, the orange and yellow. Oh, I was getting so tired. I did not know was I going to finish this hunt today or not, but I'm so thankful it's over. Torchic, welcome to the party. Let's finally, finally get this run started. I am so excited. Let's do this. And Torchic, my friend, I'm gonna call you Carrot. I think it's pretty suitable. Thankfully, we finally managed to get our first challenge completed from our checklist. And now it's time to start our adventure. Like we mentioned earlier, Shiny Torchic is obviously a lot more powerful than a normal Torchic. I mean, I managed to take down May eventually, but seriously, are Shinies really not stronger than normal Pokemon? Do us Shiny Hunters really spend hundreds of hours of our lives literally looking for just different colors? Colored pixels. Nothing else? What am I doing with my life? Well, clearly not enough if I have time to do this. Not much time passed before I realized that Torchic wouldn't be strong enough to handle even the first gym. I mean, even this stupid dog was able to take me out. Now, that's just not okay. One of my favorite shiny Pokemon in the world is Shiny Breloom. I don't know why, but I've always loved this Pokemon, but I've never actually even used one. And I wanted to change that. I had made it to Petalburg Woods, where it was possible to find a shiny Shroomish, but there's only a 50 percent chance of finding the non-shiny version in the first place. So after some quick calculations, it's around a 1 in over 50,000 chance. This means that you're literally more likely to be hit by lightning than to find this stupid orange mushroom. Well, I'm no quitter and I clearly have no life, so let's give this a go. I've gone through a whole bunch of Pokemon and this is literally the first shroomish I found in minutes. Oh my lord, this is gonna take a while. Wait, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it. Yo, we got a shiny worm. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a shiny bug type. It's not a shiny shroomish, but hey, I didn't even want the shiny shroomish anyways. You know what? I wanted a shiny worm. Well, this Pokemon is so much cooler than the beautiful, amazing, actually good Pokemon. You know what? A worm pull will do. We're gonna take it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. We got it. We got our second shiny Pokemon. We're gonna call you Bugene. Now, guys, let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite shiny Pokemon. I would love to know. Do not say worm though, or you're getting blocked. To be honest, I'd rather get struck by lightning twice than hunt for that stupid shroom. Well, just take the Wurmple. I could finally continue my adventure, although I have to admit, I can't see this Wurmple making my team a lot stronger, but we're gonna try this out anyways. It didn't take too long until it was Wurmple's time to evolve. Wait, Eugene is evolving! <laughs> Woohoo! Are we gonna get a Silcoon or a Cascoon? Fuck! And we got a Silcoon! Okay, this is so exciting and so awesome. I'm sure it's gonna be so good in battle. God damn it. 
Now, let's be honest, even if I evolved Silcoon right now, a Beautifly would be even worse against Roxanne due to its 4 times weakness to Rock. So Torchic, you're really gonna have to step up your game for this. And so I did. I made my way straight to the first gym, and I didn't know what to expect, but it sure wasn't this. Hey, now there goes. Carrot is evolving. Yo, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I don't exactly know what a shiny Combuskin looks like, so let's find out. I know people don't often like it, but my mind is willing to be changed. Okay, the Torchic was- I like the Torchic, but the Combuskin... <laughs> Let's hope plays against better, that's all I'm gonna say. At least it learns some cool moves, so maybe, maybe we can take out Roxanne. I mean, hey, let's try it out. Wait, I wasn't watching, was that a one hit? There we go, that's another one hit. And last but not least, we have a nose pass. Ooh, it's actually not gonna go down to one hit. But that's still a bet because the battle is over and we have our first gym badge. That was surprisingly easy. Maybe these shiny Pokemons aren't so bad after all. Between the first and second gym, there honestly isn't too much action. May tried to battle me, but to be honest, that Mudkip left me traumatized, so I just ran away. One awesome thing did happen though, which was that my cocooned worm decided he had enough of being a spike ball and decided to finally become a beautiful butterfly. Wait, what? It evolves level 10. <laughs> I did not know that. But come on, let's get ourselves that beautiful Eugene. I love that name. Legends Arceus was such a good game. Now come on, let's see it. Wait, I didn't remember that it looked like that, but <laughs> it's still pretty cool. That's still pretty cool. We'll take it. Now since it is a flying type, now hopefully, just hopefully, it can help us take down Brawly, but we'll have to see. <laughs> The trainers went down surprisingly easily. I guess Eugene is stronger than I thought. I wasn't convinced though, so I went and tried him out against Brawly. You know what, Eugene? I actually have high hopes for you. And that's something I never thought I'd say, but let's put it to the test. Let's see how you do. We got the map. Okay, that's actually a lot of damage. What? Okay, I mean, I'm not complaining. How much will he hit us for though? Wait, that's really not bad at all. There goes the matchup. Wait, that's... <laughs> what? And there goes the whole team with just Eugene. And we also only took one hit. <laughs> what? Wait, yo, Eugene, I'm sorry I overlooked you. Clearly, Eugene is not to be messed with. But that's sick, let's keep on going. Now, I see why that guard in PLA went to the Wurmpool. Those guys are awesome. My next big challenge was across the sea from here at Marvel City. I mean, there's the whole plot of taking out Team Aqua, but that's just boring. There's not enough oddly colored pixels there. On the way to Marvel City, and I swear I'm not lying, but Eugene literally took out May's entire team without losing a single hit point. Not even one. What the hell is this bug eating for breakfast? He even managed to take down Wally with just one hit. Now that's something you don't see every day, right? I think I somehow managed to pick two of the best early game Pokemon for this challenge because we were on a roll. And then I challenged Watson. Alrighty Watson, let's do this. Honestly, I have no clue how this is gonna go. I haven't trained at all, but we'll see what happens. Okay, well that didn't work out. But what about you, Eugene? What do you have in store for us? Okay, maybe not. And let's get back to training. Well, that was humbling because clearly not even Eugene could save us there. After some training, I tried it out again, but yet again, I was having no luck. All right, Watson, let's do this <laughs> again. Are you kidding me? He paralyzed me first turn. Oh my God. 30. I had to take my Pokemon Pokemon all the way to level 30 to even stand a chance against Watson. Remember, this is only the third gym leader. This is gonna be a long run. I guess these guys weren't so good after all. I had to set up with bulk up. Now with carrots boosted stats, all was looking good until I got paralyzed. I still managed to get all the way to Manectric, but because all the other Pokemon were now faster than me, they all managed to get some damage in on me, leaving me just low enough for Manectric to kill me. But it wasn't over yet because I still had an ace in my pockets called Eugene. I sent him out and in just two hits he died god damn it okay blah 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 i leveled my team up to 36 <sighs> okay carrot is evolving oh my god i hate this game i just want to sleep okay let's see shiny blaze again hello <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why does he suck so much? Okay, it's not that bad, but I kind of like it, but it's not that special. Torch, I just really like Torchic. I think the Torchic was so cool. Anyways, let's go get rid of Watson. 
I was having no more of Watson's bullshit, and I finally took him out. That gym battle was not okay. Shiny hunting is grueling enough, but leveling my team up to over 10 levels higher than the gym leader, well, that's just not fun at all, and I was not gonna let that happen again. I needed some more teammates, and I needed them desperately. I put a pause on my adventure and backtracked all the way to this lake over here, where I would try and complete my third challenge, which was to fish for a shiny Pokemon. Okay, we got a Tentacool over here. Not bad. A Magikarp too. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna hunt here because honestly, both of those Pokemon are amazing. And a shiny Magikarp? Well, I would not complain at that. We need a stronger team and a shiny Gyarados would do exactly that for us. So please, RNG gods, if you've ever wanted to give me a good Pokemon or the right Pokemon, the time is now. Let's start our hunt for our third shiny Pokemon. Let's do it. I absolutely hated this challenge. I kept misclicking and was struggling hard to catch these stupid fish. Luckily, it didn't take me too long to find this Pokemon because I would have definitely broken my monitor in rage in the process. So without further ado, here is what happened. You know what? I'm getting nowhere. I'm... I'll just try again later. I need some sleep. The hunt will continue tomorrow. Yo, yo! Oh, a shiny tentacle! Oh my god. We did it! Yes, I'm never, ever, 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 ever fishing again in my entire life. That was horrible, but we did it. Oh, oh my god, we found a shiny tentacle, dude. Oh, but I swear, if I don't catch this guy, I'm quitting this stupid round because, oh my god. Guys, please, if you play Pokemon Emerald, do not fish for a shiny, ever. That was the worst shiny hunt I have ever done in my entire life. Even though this was shorter than some, it was, oh my god, I will never, never do this again. Anyways, let's hit that stun spore. Let's get paralyzed. Perfect. Now, as long as I don't kill it, this should be a relative easy catch at least i hope and I, by that i mean i really really hope please 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 come on come on let's go we got our shiny tentacle thank you oh, i'm so happy about that oh <laughs> tentacle the jellyfish pokemon welcome to the party i think the only suitable name for this tentacle is honestly garbage you're not welcome to the party garbage i am not glad to have you okay now let's continue on this lovely wonderful adventure of ours I'm having so much fun. I would literally rather delete my channel than fish for a stupid shiny jellyfish ever again. With that absolutely horrifying experience out the way, it was time to go grind for some brand new gym badges. Before I went any further though, I set up camp in the fiery path with only one goal on my mind, which was to evolve my garbage. And it came sooner than expected. Out of nowhere, we had ourselves a shiny Garbodor. <laughs> I mean Tentacruel. Personally, I see no difference, but hey, that's just me. Before I was able to take on Flannery, I had a whole bunch of plot to go through. Look, I know I said the plot in this game was great, but I've played this game through over 10 times just this year, and all these Team Magma Grunts do nowadays is hurt my brain, so let's just get past them. It was finally time for my pile of garbage to take on Flannery, and I think I should have reconsidered that naming because he actually one shot Flannery's whole team. Not bad for a jellyfish. Nothing much happens between gyms 4 and 5, so let's get right to beating my dad. And once again, that really wasn't a struggle. In Ruby and Sapphire, I would be a bit worried with those slackings, but in this game, he leads with a Spinda. What happened to this guy? Well, as you can guess, it wasn't too hard. Now, I've managed to collect over half of the badges in Hoenn, but I still only have three teammates. I did the maths, and that does not add up. But don't worry, because I found a solution for that. I traveled all the way back to Falarber Town, where I visited the Fossil Maniac. He told me to go visit the desert, where there's rumored to be some fossils. I was sure I had checked the desert before, and there wasn't any there. Wait a minute, what's that? A tower had appeared out of nowhere, and after eventually making it to the top, I ended up finding two fossils. Now, I really wasn't sure who to take, but after a lot of considering, I decided that Armaldo would be who I go for. If Armaldo already looks great, then I can't wait to see what a shiny version of him looks like. After picking the claw fossil, the entire tower collapsed, but somehow, I was left unharmed. Nice game freak, I like the logic. Anyways, I went back to Rustboro City, where I had to revive this Anorith, until it would have eventually shine and after a while it finally did oh wait whoa, wait that's shiny <laughs> 
Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. There goes the Anorith. Jeez. Oh, my God. You know, it's actually kind of cool. I like how it's like a, like a copper instead of the gray. It's not too bad. I don't know. I feel like I should be more excited, but I mean, I got an Anorith shiny, so here we go. That is our fourth shiny, and I cannot wait to get an Armaldo. Now, let's get this going. Now, with this shiny Anorith in my party, it didn't take too long to get to Fortree City, where the flying type leader Winona resides. Well, Anorith is a rock type, but it is isn't yet strong enough to take her on, but after a bit of training, this is what happened. Wait, there we go! Anorith is evolving! Okay, I'm actually really excited to see what the shiny Armaldo is gonna look like. Uh, I kinda hope it keeps the same color, I kinda hope it changes it, just don't be bad, that's all. Okay, come on, let's find out. And the shiny is- it's- just, I'm, I'm really conflicted right now. Uh, hmm. No, I actually- I do like the red accents, it's not too bad. And it's definitely gonna be very strong, so let's go see what it's gonna be like against the sixth gym leader. Alright, Winona, let's see how this goes. Okay, Swablu is a one hit. There we go. So is the Pelipper and the Skarmory and the Tropius. And there goes the Altaria too. I guess that wasn't so bad after all. GG's. Now, after a lot more plots, and I mean a lot, I was finally ready to go take on Liza and Tate. Now, these guys were insanely tough. I literally have no idea how these two kids could wreck me this hard. It's not okay. But hey, I guess I got the win eventually, and that's all that matters, right? Well, after that massive win, I took a deep dive into the ocean, after which I ended up in Sutopolis City, where I witnessed the Battle of the Beasts. But to be honest, it was kind of lame. I mean, their particles weren't even shining. At least yet. Rayquaza came down to save the day as usual, but he kinda looks boring and green. It's just so basic. So, I strive to change that. I went to take on the puzzles of Sky Pillar, and to my absolute surprise, as you can see from my face, I managed to get this done first try. I have never ever done that before. Today literally has to be my lucky day. Or so I thought, because I didn't end up getting the shiny that day. But it was okay, because I was not gonna give up until I saw some shiny sparkles and eventually that time came yo yo we got it yes oh yo yo oh my yo we got it we got the shiny rayquaza oh my god yo i, I just started too oh my god yo yo last time i hunted for a shiny legendary it took me ages to find one but we literally just got going and i found a shiny rayquaza that's not bad at all oh my god that's so sick what a cool shiny dude oh my okay 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 dude, what is my luck yo this is crazy yo we got it oh my god dude what i wasn't even paying attention but we got it <laughs> We got a Shiny Rayquaza, perfect. Yo, what the heck? Yes, I want to name this guy. What do I call him, though? You know what? I think we're going to go with... No, I like the name Skysnek. We're going to go with Skysnek. Welcome to the party. All right, let's see it in battle, though. Come on. We got our Shiny Skysnek. Come on. Oh, my. Dude, that's such a beautiful Pokemon. Like, that color scheme, too. Black and yellow. Whoever came up with that is literally goaded, because that Shiny is perfect. But hey, let's go take on the 8th gym and see how we do. But I have a feeling that it won't be so bad. Now, of course, a shiny Rayquaza is gonna look amazing, but will it be amazing in battle? Well, I tried it out against Huan, and it turns out that it sure wasn't too bad in battle either. Well, that was easy. Now, I was honestly planning on taking on the Elite Four with five shinies, because, I mean, what in the f*** is gonna kill a level 70 Rayquaza? At least until I entered the victory road, and something very special happened. <laughs> yo, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold up. Literally, I was not even shiny hunting. Literally, I was not. I was walking through this cave and out of nowhere. <laughs> A, a random shiny encounter. What? I thought I was just gonna take on the Elite Four with five shinies, but hey. A shiny gold bat, I'll take that for sure. That's actually crazy. Yo, this is pretty much mission failed successfully. As long as I can paralyze this. Oh, okay, whatever. I'll, I'll try and catch it anyways. Hopefully I have enough balls for this. I'm not actually sure. Come on. Yo, three. There we go. Okay, and we have a full team of shiny Pokemon. Oh, this is amazing. Gold bat, welcome to the party. This has never happened to me in a shiny run before. I have never found an unlooked for shiny in a shiny run. Oh my god, this is sick. I think you've earned the name Lucky Charm. And there we go, only the Elite Four and the Champion left to go. Let's do this. Now, it goes without saying that I absolutely swept through the Elite Four and the Champion. Well, I guess that's why people love Rayquaza so much. Let me know what I should do next and I'll see you later. Peace.